for, but now we are in the loser's bracket, so these players, if they lose, they're out of the tournament. Loser gets ninth. Yeah, we're pretty far along. All right, yeah, so... Good. Already looking like, good call, you madman. Calm down. It just started. <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of both throwing out some some big damage combos. Maybe not big damage, but some well, I mean, brutal looking combos. Ness, Ness and Peach are both already at 50, and it's only the 30 seconds. Not letting the Peach land. Missing the Nairn, and it's a losing stage control. Yeah, they're both kind of just much, much like the last set. They're just kind of throwing. Ooh, that fair out of nowhere. It's always such a brutal uh, thing. Ooh, use that that Peach oh. booty to block the the PK Thunder. That was that was good. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be aware of like what hits you have that are gonna stop that move. Yeah, the Steel Toe Boots. Kazaroli doing a really good job at stopping his PK Thunder, but not a good job at stopping that back air. Nice back air, by the way. Come on, Lorenzo. It's easy P target, man. So, he, Kasa he, he really likes to, uh, RZI really likes to do Nair at a shield. And it looks like it's working out well for him because it's keeping, like, Kazaroli from doing a lot of his grab combos. Because he's got, like, maybe yeah. one. Or so grab conversion. Most of it's been like just like trades or hits. Yeah, Ness's near off shield is actually a pretty good option. Comes out pretty quick. But uh, Casaroli is kind of taking the second stock pretty, pretty handily. Although obviously it's only 80%. I was I was oh, giving him almost. so much credit for like avoiding the PK Thunder. He got hit by almost three in a row. <laughs> and then he almost got rocketed. I was about to say, oh, if it knocked him into that PK fire, I was gonna, it's gonna pop off for him. Would have been sick. And yeah, there's the PK Thunder coming in. Yeah, not quite gonna find it. He's probably gonna start looking for back throw here pretty soon. See, he's already rolling back <laughs> towards ledge. Yeah, but Kazaroli, he wasn't born yesterday. This ain't his first Ness. Oh yeah, he's got Austin, doesn't he? Ooh. Oh, almost mission and Nick in with that dare. Oh, whoa, that was, he just side beat on shield bars, the guy dropped it. Mm -hmm. I believe if you hit on shield, you can follow it up. Uh, like get a nice jump afterwards and then follow up with some pressure. All right, so with how explosive this game kind of began, it's kind of slowed down a bit while they both- Yeah, significantly. Neither of them wants to see a hit by the, oh, that's a re-grab, but. Parasol's got a pretty big old hitbox. And RZI looking kind of dangerous, but one one grab and it's over. Ooh. Yeah, Peach Dash Attack is going to kill. And that might do. No. Not yet. He's going to try and throw that. And oh. Oh. Unfortunate. That was a good turn up by Cazaroli, just kind of forcing him into a really bad spot. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Kazaroli has Austin, so, you know. Also, I think the whole thing with Peach is that a lot of Ryus I know don't like the Ness matchup. Uh, just, uh, I guess just this. picked the wrong stage. Alright, you, you, you want to make the joke of how uh, Kazaroli takes it 2-0 now? No, that's a little bit too low-hanging fruit. I mean, you, you did the nice back air joke. That's that's a pretty pretty low-hanging fruit, too. I know, but that's uh, it's a little bit more respectable. Because it can be a legitimate nice back air. <laughs> but w when you make the joke of, oh, you won't, nah. Alright, so going to FD now. I'll be honest, I don't know too much about what stages benefit Peach. So... That are advantageous for both these characters. Yeah, um, I'd say from my my experience against Ness, it's like kind of hard to land on him uh, in this stage. He's just gonna run around. Yeah. That PK Thunder, you gotta land on the stage. You can't land on a platform to avoid it. Yeah, the PK Thunder makes it hard. And then he's got he's running around grabbing you. It could be like a rough time. So I can see why this would be his counter pick. 
Meanwhile, Casaroli seems to be making pretty good use of it. Yeah, RZI just kind of throwing out those PK Thunders every time uh, Casaroli is not on the ground. And it's honestly not much you can do to, to punish it. The triple air dodge. That, that was a trippy looking uh, float cancel thing. It looked almost like a wave dash. Oh, but that, that up air, Ness's up air is a pretty, really strong. pretty strong hit, yeah. It's basically comparable to DK up air. If not almost the same exact move. And this stage definitely paying dividends for RZI. Guys are really having a really hard time landing on him. Drops that, that turn up, but good air dodge by RZI. Oh! Yep, good list jump, that'll do it. Yeah, not much RZI could have really done about that one. He, he has to buffer an option like yeah. a little bit before he gets to the ledge, and then he'll be fine. Triple back air. Yeah, but RZI still has a pretty commanding lead. Because we're really just having a tough time dealing with these PK Thunders. Ooh. Overall, it seems. Oh, ooh, that was pretty good. Overall, it seems like uh, RZI is doing a pretty good job of like beating Casaroli at his own game of speech. Like, he's taking the aerial fight to him and just kind of like outboxing him up there, and then Casaroli just yeah, kind of struggling on the land, throw. and that'll do it. Such a good back throw. Dare I say the best back throw? The Ness back throw. Yeah, that's for sure. It is indeed the Ness back throw. Alright, we're we gonna so take character switch? No, we're gonna stick to our guns here. Probably gonna change stages though, because FD did not do him any favors. Uh -oh. I feel like we're gonna see. Tri yeah, triplets. Yeah, alright, so they're going to Battlefield. A solid counter pick against Ness, I feel, because it's, it's like. Yeah, he gets it's more juggles out of his uh, throws, but like he's gonna have a little bit slightly harder time killing you here. Yeah, and also Peach sharking platforms is she's pretty good at it. Uh huh. Casaroli, yeah. I really like how his movement. He's never. Doing the same thing, he's always jumping around, float canceling, just you never really know exactly what he's gonna do until he does it. You can tell that he's uh, put a lot of time in this character, he's very comfortable moving around with her. Yeah, for sure. Right now, looks like the floating's doing him a lot of favors, he's getting a little bit of a lead going. It's still having a tough time dealing with that PK Thunder though. Yeah, he. He's only the only answer he seems to find for it is like daring as he's trying to land. Yeah, but and if Ness catches him uh, daring at the wrong time, then he could end up punishing him pretty hard for it. Oh, yeah, not not uh, not gonna walk into that one, thankfully. <laughs> Back up coming in from Ness. Yeah, see there it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a pretty bad, bad trap because like he couldn't go underneath like the ledge because the fire was flying there and then he had to go a little further out and then yeah, it was a really good setup. Right, so once again, RZI gets the first stock. Oh, not quite getting the hit on the on Casaroli that he probably wanted. Oh, oh almost. But uh. Oh, nice little fake there. You could see Casarole was preparing to kind of punish his uh, his dash, but Casarole, RZI just kind of held it. Yep, Ooh. dash attack will do it. That killing dash attack, though. But still, Ness is kind of running away with the lead here. He's going to have to... He's going to have to finish this here pretty soon. Yeah, RZI. Uh, He's got all the momentum. Yeah. Casarola just hasn't gotten enough first off of his uh, his wins. Oh, is that it? No. Nope. 
he's doing the up throw so he can save himself, uh, not stay on the back throw. Yeah. And then get the land pressure and everything else off of it. Oh, oh that'll now do, it. do it. Casarole out at ninth, and RZI carries on, continuing to lose his side of top eight.